live stream today we have the new release of elite extra edition coming at you there are eight autographs per hobby box i have one case of these and inside the case there's 20 boxes so you do the math 20 boxes times eight autographs we're gonna find 160 autographs tonight in this case break so here is the box not a whole lot of cards in the box there's only five packs in here Five cards per pack, only 25 cards per pack. So if you caught our preview video yesterday, we pulled two of the nice hot tigers out there uh, on the prospect list. Guys, you've probably heard of before, Spencer Torkelson and Casey Mize. So hopefully you can find some more great stuff today. Let's go ahead and get started. Thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight on this Saturday. Let's see what we can find for Charles in spot number two. Of course, spot one was the preview video, so... Let's check out what we have for Charles. Lego God. Hey, man. How's it going? I'm good to see you here. I still haven't read your email yet, but I did see it came through. I was working today on uh, getting caught up on emails, and I am – right now I'm on December 31st. I've been doing um, the 80K stuff. It's kind of off camera here, but um, I have all these uh, envelopes that I've been getting together here um for the 80k giveaway so i'm kind of stuck on december 31st because i just got so many emails that day but we'll get caught up lego god thank you very much i really appreciate that and let's go and see what we can find now in our packs for charles i guess we'll just do uh make it easy and do all five of them at once there's only 25 cards in here they could have literally just made this one fat pack like they did with uh, Bowman Platinum. There is a Saturday showdown tonight, guys. Saturday showdown is coming up after this live stream. It will be for Patreon members only. And uh, it's going to be Bowman Draft Supers. All right, so here we go, Charles. Let's see what we can find for you in your box. We have a Daniel Rojas. You'll notice, by the way, a lot of these cards are numbered. Not, most of the base cards are out of $9.99, there's a C.J. Van Eck. And we have our first autograph of the day. It is going to be a Tyler Brown die-cut auto out of 24. Nice one right there. Keith, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And look at this. Could we have a Spencer Torkelson? There it is, the very first box Spencer Torkelson autograph right off the bat. Very nice. Charles, congratulations. Literally our second autograph in our very first pack of the live stream. And we hit the big guy already, Spencer Torkelson. His autographs go for uh, quite a bit of money. I'm, I don't know. I'm going to guess since this is Elite Extradition, it's not worth quite as much as the uh, Bowman draft. But let's check it out. I'm not sure what this one's goes. I'm going to guess 200 bucks on this. Let me check. Elite I'm actually looking this one up. Let's see if I can beat you to it. Survival says that's a $300. Oh, I see it right now. I see one for $300, but it's a die-cut card. So I have no idea. It's got to be worth at least, uh, looks like 130s on there. So very nice one right there. Patrick says, pull to Luis Robert, one of one. Rookie patch auto from Panini Flawless yesterday. Least I could do is throw some your way for getting me back into the hobby. Patrick, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And Lego says, sent you two emails. One was a mistake because I was auto-typing by talking into my phone and messed up. All right, man. Thank you very much, Lego. Thank you, Patrick. That's a huge hit right there. And Big Dog Pack Rips says, I'm spot number 15 here. Good luck to everyone. And there's a torque. Let's go. Seven away for 100. Save some fires. Spot 15. Big Dog Pack Rips. Thank you very much, guys. I hope you'll check him out. Give him some support. Help him get to that next level there's a pete crow armstrong that's out of 9.99 he was the number one pick by the mets we've got an on held trinidad out of 9.99 i think he might be a dominican league prospect materials dylan carlson nice game used jersey from the cardinals like that one brady Lindsay is the next auto washington nationals looks like he was the 130th pick in the draft we've got an emerson hamcock jack blomgren jake vogel Back to the, so many autographs. Juan Fenn, I guess. Then Haven't heard of him. Victor Quesada from the Dominican League. Nice, simple signature there. Ian Bedell, Vidal Bruhan from the Rays. Got a die-cut card here of Xavier Warren. 
Zion Bannister. Fabian Lopez. That's a nice looking card right there. Dominican Players League, I guess. A Dominican player there out of 25. Nice low number there. Daddy Daughter card breaks in the house. Matthew Dyer out of 499. Carson Tucker. Got a couple more hits for you, and here comes a nice one. Not the Mitchell Parker, although it is number. It's Heston Kerstad, the number two overall pick in the draft. That's a nice relic right there. Lego God says, bro, you cool. Thank you, Lego God. I really appreciate that. Thanks for the support. Tanner Houck is going to be the last auto and Shea Whitcomb. So literally out of all the cards, there's only two that are not uh, numbered. That's pretty crazy stuff right there. Everything else is numbered or autographed. Charles, congratulations. You had the nice hit there of the Torkelson. So far, we've opened two boxes, and we've had two Torkelsons. If you missed the preview video, we pulled a Spencer Torkelson um, game-used jersey in the first box, and now in the second box, we got his auto. Let's see what the third box holds. This one's going to be for Mr. Brian Z. Let's see. What can, I wonder how many Torkelsons we're going to find in here. Best of luck to you, Brian. Morocco says, you can't go wrong with a Mike Trout card. That's for sure. Eli wanted to see the no purchase necessary stuff on the bottom. I don't know if they have that on here. Is that just Tops that does that? I don't think Panini does the no purchase necessary. Senor Tops in the house has been a while, Jabs. Hope all is well, Goat. Senor Tops. How's it going, man? Thanks for stopping in tonight. Welcome back. You said the no purchase necessary stuff's on the back. All right. There's Daddy Daughter with the link to Senor um tops you can check him out there's a no purchase necessary you'll have to pause it or put it in slow motion so you can see all of that and if you're a canadian take out your calculator to solve that equation all right so brian is up now let's see if he can hit a torkelson these uh these boxes went on sale on wednesday on panini's website and they sold out within four minutes so pretty hot. The hobby product is pretty hot. I don't know how the retail is going to do with uh, five cards for 20 bucks. I don't know how many people are going to be grabbing those. I feel like last year these sat on the shelves for a while, but you never know. All right, Brian, you're up. Let's see what we can find for you. There's Justin Foscue. Then there's a oh, Paul Canerco. That's a surprise. It's a Paul Canerco <laughs> game used relic. That's pretty awesome. All time first draw materials card. Very nice card right there. In 1994, it was the 13th pick. Very nice card right there. Canerco, who, was he drafted by the Reds? Or was it the Dodgers? I feel like he might have been Reds, Dodgers, then White Sox. Nice one right there. I got an autograph of a hidden gems out of Jordan Mickle. Justin says Dodgers. Okay, that's what I thought. Dodgers, and then was it off to the Reds, and then ultimately the White Sox? What else we have? A Ben Hernandez. There's a Jesse Franklin out of 215 for the Bravos. Milan Tolentino, Zach Britton, the batter, not the pitcher. Oh, look at this. Everyone's getting a Torkelson. Brian, you have a Spencer Torkelson. Literally every box has had a Torkelson. And it is a game used jersey. So again, Every box, we've had at least one Torkelson hit, so let's keep that going. The number one overall pick in the draft. Now, I did notice that the relic that I pulled in box number one had a kind of a bum corner, I think. This corner looks a bit better than that. Very, very nice, Brian. Congratulations. Burl Caraway. Let's see if we can hit a nice auto for you as well. There's the Torkelson base extra edition card. Nice one right there. you got a C.J. Van Eck autograph, a Dylan Dingler autograph. There's another Vidal Bruyon. Beckway, Wander Franco, Jared Kelly, and Dylan Carlson is going to be probably your last hit here. And it's a nice autograph on there. Dylan Carlson's a big-time prospect. Daddy Daughter will tell you about that with the St. Louis Cardinals. That's out of 75. And the last one there is a Baron Radcliffe. Doomsday says, these are a dream for the Saturday showdown. Yeah, this would be pretty crazy for the showdown with all these numbered cards. Uh, today, we are doing the Saturday Showdown immediately following this one. Actually, we'll take a 10-minute intermission, and then I'm going to pick up with the Saturday Showdown, except I'm going to do it over on Patreon. So if you are a Patreon member, check out the Patreon page. About 10 minutes at the conclusion of this live stream, we will continue live streaming with Bowman Draft Supers. Just, uh, you know, with uh, Patreon, I'd like to give you an extra couple perks besides just being able to buy in the 
the breaks. Of course, uh, the higher donations, you get packs sent to you each month. But another one of those donations is exclusive videos. And I'm going to try to do at least one exclusive live stream over there each month. So we'll do that tonight. Let's see what we can find in our next box for Tim G. This bottom pack just does not want to come out. There we go. All right, let's see what we can find for Tim. Fourth box. Dustin says these look like blasters at first sight, but they're not. Yeah, the blasters only have one tiny little lonely pack in them. This has five packs. How much is a box of these? The cheapest box that I've seen on eBay was 108 so after you... Um, factor in the shipping and tax, it's probably going to be right around 114 115 somewhere in there. That was my price on Patreon. All right, Tim, let's see what we can find for you right now. The blasters, yeah, the blasters have the pink parallels in there. All right, so here we go. Autograph time right off the bat. We got Trey Cruz, got faked up by him. Austin Hendrick, first overall pick by the Cincinnati Reds. That's a great one right there out of 195. Tim, congratulations on that one. Shane Drohan, Zach Veen, Wilbin Francisca, Austin Martin is going to be the next hit. Let's check this one out. It's going to be the Relic. I'm not too big on these Relics. They're, I mean, they're okay, but we have a Jamar Baylor as the autograph of Hidden Gems. Stevie Emanuel's Eddie Perez. Not the Eddie Perez that we all grew up watching with the Atlanta Braves. Greg Maddox's personal catcher. There's Drew Romo. We have a Bryce Bonin out of 190. It's the next autograph from Cincinnati Reds. Elvis Rojas from the Dominican Players League out of 99. Austin says Romo is a good one. Keep an eye on him. Levi Thomas, Mick Abel, Eric Wars, and Max Meyer is another good one. High pick. Number three overall pick in the draft. It is his game used jersey brandon says really nice auto hits how about uh, no torkelson yet this will be the first box we haven't found a torkelson hit in there's a hidden gems jack patterson and uh, last two autographs it's gonna be tyler gentry and last auto of the box for tim is gonna be yofri solano from the dominican prospect league under barnhart last card right there so tim thank you very much Next up, we got Jim coming up to bat. And by the way, Jim will be, uh, he's got a, a long night ahead of him. Maybe not long. We'll see. I don't know how long um, altogether we'll be streaming. But Jim will be in our Saturday showdown twice in two different boxes. So hopefully we see you around for that. By the way, we have, uh, we'll be breaking these live after this. The They are the super Bowman Draft Supers. There's these giant packs in there with like 32 chrome cards eight refractors one autograph per pack and uh we'll be doing it by the box so the saturday showdown rounds will be this entire box will be up for grabs we have a few different boxes we'll be working through so hope you can join us for that over on patreon if not you can sign up now on patreon it's three dollars per month if you'd like to check it out you can cancel at any time Trevor's baseball card says, love all the autos today. Just sent payment for the showdown tonight. Can't wait. All right, Trevor, we will get you in there right now. Currently on the showdown, we have, just in case you're wondering, we have uh, three full boxes. So we'll probably get at least four boxes taken care of. Thank you, Sam. Really appreciate that. All right, here we go. Jim, spot number five. Last pack always kind of just hangs on in there. Let's see what we can find for you. Hopefully everybody had a nice Saturday. We have a Drew Rasmussen. We have Alec Burleson. Hey, Kirk, it's still on my shelf, man. I will get it out to you just as soon as I can. Still on the giveaway shelf. JJ says, hey, Jabs, you inspire me to make videos. Can you shout me out? I just posted a new video. Yeah, shout out, man. Check them out. Hits only with a 99 cent super chat. Thanks. I really appreciate that. Riley and me says, if I join your Patreon, how much is it to get in tonight? It's $3 and that'll cover you for the rest of the month. it will charge you upon sign up whenever you sign up on Patreon. And then it will charge you uh, the first of each month. So if you decide you want to cancel, just uh, you go to you edit your membership and you delete your pledge before February 1st. And uh, it won't you won't be charged again. So if you want to check it out. You can definitely do that. There's Jack Hartman. Nice one right there. Emerson Hancock is the second autograph. There is 
Drew Rasmussen out of 120. Samuel Infante. We've got a Nick Swinney. Here comes a die cut autograph. It's a Hunter Barnhart from the Rays. Brent, thanks, man. Thanks for the kind words. Welcome back to the hobby. We got an autograph here from the Dominican prospect lead of Brian Martinez. Kind of like that signature. Nice, simple, and uh, a little bit of uh, you know, a little bit of swagger in that with a big swoosh going through the the T. Interesting, um, you know, style there. Alec Burleson, Jelson Coca. There's a Yoiki Cespedes, the younger brother of Ioannis Cespedes, I believe. Asa Lacey, number four overall pick in the draft. Going to the, the Royals is a nice one. How do you get into the showdown? You can check that out on Patreon. I've got directions there on how to do it. Uh, for the showdown for this one, you can just directly pay me and I'll put you in. Uh, that's why I need about 10 minutes between this one and the next one just to kind of... Uh, populate the list and and take care of some clerical stuff there's a dylan file autograph hayden cantrell jimmy gloanke freddie zamora werner blakely jimmy trincoso that is a lazy signature there by rainer donkin or don cone literally i don't even know what that is it's uh hmm it almost looks like an uppercase j but i have no idea looks like he made it looks like he started to uh sign his name then he got interrupted and just stopped and uh, another terrible signature there. People were pointing out yesterday um, just the absolute stark difference between the 1955. Maybe it was two days ago. Nice one right there. Alec Bohm is a great player. Isaac Paredes is a nice one. And Jihuan Bay from the Pirates. But people were pointing out the difference between the signatures for today's players and just all of like the, uh, the the great penmanship from 55. These are cards I'm going to be giving away, extras of 55 tops I have. But all of their signatures, the penmanship back in 55 was just so good from every player. Um, and, and now it's just like you got players that can barely even write their names. And then you got players or people like George who can barely even leave a, a decent comment. See you later, George. Jim, thank you very much. Next up. Spot number six, we have Paul. Best of luck to you, Paul. Let's see what we can find for you. Three Torkelsons tonight. Go ahead and get uh, Jim stuff put in the box. How much to get into the Super? The Super is 119, and uh, that's a Saturday showdown. So it's the lowest numbered card gets the entire box. Those boxes go for, I think they're about $550 or so. 357, how's it going, man? Welcome to the live stream. Let's check out what we can get for Paul right now. A Baron Radcliffe on the back. Brandon says, love these cards. Yeah, if you like your prospects, these are definitely nice. And also, it's a good chance to get to learn some of these young guys from the 2020 draft. Take a look at them. You're going to be seeing them over the next few years in the Bowman releases until they make the bigs. All right, Paul, let's see what we can track down for you. Petey Halpin is the first one from the Cleveland Indians. Nick Garcia autograph of Case Williams. All the autos are flipped upside down. And a great one right there, Zach Veen, number one pick from the Colorado Rockies. I don't know if El Canon is right in here right now, but that uh, he'd be pretty stoked to see that one pop up. Baron Radcliffe, Gavin Stone. We got a nice CC Sabathia, future Hall of Famer right there. Hey, there's El Canon. Hey, man. CC Sabathia was the 20th overall pick in 1998. <laughs> he says Sheboygan. That's a nice CC Sabathia. Brian Welvis, hidden gem from the Oakland A's. Luke Little. And uh, let's see what else we could find. A Werner Blakely, who, by the way, doesn't let his autographs dry enough. You can see the. Ink on the back of that car. There's the front of it. That's our second time. We just pulled him last box. I remember that signature. A Welbin Francisca. Nice, uh, interesting signature there. Dominican Prospect League out of 99. Baron Radcliffe, Burl Caraway. And here comes Casey Mize. Casey Mize, the big-time prospect with the Detroit Tigers. Nice prospect game use jersey. Brian Buelvas for a second time. So you got two of him. Nick Garcia, Jared Jones, Tanner Burns. Last couple hits are going to be a Jack Hartman and a Keterson Pavon from the Dominican Prospect League. And that will do it for Paul's box. Paul, thank you very much. 
Spot number seven. Cameron says, man, I miss CC. Yeah, CC's about the he was uh he was good. Like, I'll never forget 2007 how he most like single handedly like pitched the Brewers to the World Series. I mean, it just looked like he was just gonna tell them all to get on his back. He was just gonna take him the whole way, but unfortunately he couldn't pitch every game for them. Baseball Brady says, Good luck, everybody. Baseball, thank you very much. Hope you guys will check out Baseball Brady. Thanks for your support, man. Spot number seven, Jess is up right, right now. We'll see what we can find for you, Jess. Elkanon says, I was finally able to get some Topps Holiday today. First restock at my Walmart in over a month. That's good luck. Yeah, I was, uh, I, I've been to a, a couple Walmarts since, but I still haven't been able to find the uh, any Topps Holiday anywhere. I got lucky. Heather actually ended up picking it up for me when she was out. I've been to, I was uh, out in Ohio yesterday yeah i was out in ohio yesterday went out to triple play vintage to pick up some wax boxes their owner said that he had just picked up a twenty thousand dollar buy of wax boxes and he invited me up and i was like yeah i you know that i'll be there because i definitely am all about the uh, old wax so drove up there bought a bunch of wax and uh, then i hit up some walmarts on the way back and didn't find a thing I did, however, go into one Walmart. I think it was in, uh, I forget what it was now. Was it Talmadge or something like that? But there was three guys there with shopping carts standing right next to the cards, literally just waiting for the stock person. This was about 12, 30 p.m. Eastern time. So if you're by Talmadge, they probably stock on Fridays around 12, 30. So may you might want to beat those guys. But yeah, they had shopping carts. They're all three of them were just standing there uh, chatting. I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm not waiting around. Tyler Brown and Bioris Tavares. Lego God says, what's your favorite box that you've opened this year? I really like Triple Threads. I thought that was a fun one. Uh, all time, I'm a big fan of Diamond Icons. There's an Evan White who played in the big leagues last year with the Mariners. Edward Bizzardo, hidden gems card. Keithrin Moss, Tyler Keenan. We've got an Addison Coffee and... A Spencer Torkelson numbered card right after it. How about that? So Addison Coffee, thank you very much. You're decent, but uh, Torkelson Prime numbers. This one is numbered out of 220. So um, you got uh, quite a valuable card here, I would imagine, worth a couple hundred bucks. Let's check. Dustin says, I caught it. This is actually our fourth Torkelson. I see a similar card listed right now on eBay for $150 out of 220. And that's exactly the same that this is. I see other people calling 350. I don't know. I, I see right now out of one, I see 150 of price on this. 150 bucks, still pretty good. That's uh, like way more than it is for the box. Uh, nice, nice hit right there. So that's our fourth Torkelson hit. Lego God says, favorite packs, 1989 all time. I love 89. Baseball Brady says, wow. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Thanks very much for your support. Uh, there's a Yolene Yo Cespedes and Juan Then are the two autos there. I started collecting cards in 1989, so I'm not going to disagree with you. And look at this. We have we had a Torxon autograph for Jess, and now, Jess, it looks like you're going to get the number two pick as well, a Heston Kerstad. It, it's, you got the number two. It's the Relic. That would be pretty something else if you would have got the autograph, the one and two in the same box. You can see second pick right there. Baltimore Orioles took him. He's going to be a beast. Aaron Bracho is the last autograph for you in your box. That one's out of 51, by the way. So, Jess, congratulations. Austin wasn't even born in 89. Yeah, I started collecting 89. 89 Tops was the set that did it for me. That's what got me hooked. And uh, after that, I just I started buying everything 1989. Mostly uh, 89 Tops. 89 Score was a big one for me. 89 Don Russ. Those were the three because I feel like they were all right around the same price point. I... Don't know if I bought much 89 Flair. I think everybody's all about 89 Flair because they're looking for the Ripkins, so those might have been harder to find around here at the time. 89 Upper Deck, of course, was premium, so that was more money, so I wasn't buying that. But whenever we went out, uh, as a, an 8-year-old kid, I would take my a dollar or whatever and buy my two packs of 89 Don Russ. Or, I remember going to a store called Tobacco Village all the time, and I would specifically always want to buy my 89 Don Russ there. I don't know why. But I, I had a bunch of 89 Don Russ from there. And Lego God says, I don't know why, but the 1989 packs are so cool. I, I agree, man. Everything 89 was was pretty nice. Lots of good rookies in 89 as well. You got the Griffey and some of those sets. Of course, some of the sets like Scored Tops. He's in the uh, traded and update set. 
Steve's up right now. You also have John Smoltz, Randy Johnson, Craig Biggio, Gary Sheffield rookie cards in those. Uh, Tammy, we still do have showdown spots available. We have about uh, like three full boxes left that we could do. So plenty of spots available for the Saturday showdown after this. If you'd like to get in, let's check out Steve right now and see what we can find for Steven spot number eight. Best of luck to you. Hanson says, I remember I was just a kid earning a few cents for each chore done. It took me a week to buy an upper deck pack. Hey, it was probably worth it for sure. How does the showdown work? Well, we open all the packs in the box and we take the lowest numbered card. We'll get all the cards in the box. So like, so let's say in pack one, you have a card numbered like five out of 200. And uh, in pack number two, there's a card number 10 out of 10. The five out of 200 will stay. It's the lowest numbered first number. We go by the numerator. Crazy kid. Hey, man. Thanks for the generous uh, super chat. I really appreciate that. Oh, we have some Panini points. So if you'll excuse me, I have to take that off screen just in case there is a code on there. And there is a code. I'm going to go like this now and show you. There's a little QR code. I don't want anybody like screenshotting the screen and then um, stealing your code with the uh, QR. But Tay, uh, Trey Cruz and some points for Steve. I hate Panini points. It looks like those are back, unfortunately. And Leonardo says, what's up, Jab? Just got my 2019 Topps Crumb Fernando Tatis Jr. X-Fractor from PSA. Got a nine. So happy. That's pretty good. I hope you'll check out Leonardo and Crazy Kid. It's always nice to get a decent grade back. That's a nice Ed Howard out of 85. Red top pick. Royce Lewis. Relic. We have a Hobie Harris autograph. Nick Gonzalez, number one pick for the Buccos. Two Trey Cruz autographs in your box. And Eddie Perez, second time seeing him. Yiddy Cappy, or Cape. Nick Lofton, there's a good one. Max Meyer, number three pick. Game used jersey. Austin says Trey Cruz was a bit of a surprise pick. Good fielder, but his hitting is eh. Well, you never know. I'll tell you what. I remember with uh, Lindor, they said, man, Lindor is such a good glove. Because I remember, like, I don't know why, like, we are looking at uh, who the Pirates are going to draft at the time. So Lindor has a great glove, but we're not sure about his bat. He was like a real skinny kid. He really worked out. So you never know. Sometimes those guys do work out. Sometimes they don't. Xavier Warren out of 42 autograph. This is a nice one. Pete Crow Armstrong, the number one pick for the Mets in the first round. Pete Crow Armstrong. Like that card. Steve, congrats on that one. RJ Dabovich is the last one right there. Pack number eight's in the books. Eli, shout out to you. Thank you very much for being here tonight. CW says, still waiting for his PSA cards to be sent back. I've heard they can take, like, uh, just, I don't know. How long is it taking now? Like, a few months for them to get their cards back? There's definitely a backlog over there. Yeah, the Pete was one out of 80 for sure, Charles. That was a nice low-numbered card. Will's up right now in spot number nine. Let's see what we can find for you, Will. Best of luck to you. We have uh, haven't seen anything numbered out of five or one yet, Sandy. The Molinator says, what's up, Jabs? Bought a pack of this from his LCS. Got a low-numbered Adley Relic and a Vidal Bruyon die cut out of 10. That's pretty nice. Good stuff. Will's up right now. Let's see what we can find for you in spot number nine. All right, we'll get these packs all opened up. Brand says, I think if these guys become good competitors in the big leagues, th these cards will jump in price. They they will indeed, especially, uh, you never know. Pete says, he sent his cards to PSA back in July, still hasn't received them back. Yeah, I guess there's a big backlog there. And, of course, if they get any employees that have the, the, the virus, that's really just going to slow them down even more. All right, so, Will, let's see what we can find for you. There's a Beck way again. Let's turn this one over. We've got an Anthony Walters. Tyler Keenan out of 64. How much do I think Series 1 boxes will go for? I bet you Series 1 boxes go for around... They should go for around like $75, but I'm going to guess around 109 109 Josh says, do you remember what you were doing back in 2007 when John Smoltz was playing? Well, I know as a teacher back then. That's a Emil Valencia out of 99. Nice one right there. I don't remember exactly what I was doing. Actually, 2007 was the first year I became a... Full-time season ticket holder at PNC Park, so I was going to games all the time. Of course, John Smoltz, if that was his last year, I think it was his last year, he was playing for the Cardinals and Red Sox, which is really weird. A mess of things says in the 2020 mini break, you pulled two of the same out-of-five card. Do you ever remember doing that before? Yeah, that's the chance of that are really slim, so I don't think so. 
And how about this one? Thank you very much, Mess of Things. I hope you guys will check out a Mess of Things channel. Great stuff over there. This is an Andres Jimenez out of five button relic. This is a nice one. The uh, button relic is a pretty cool touch. And Andres Jimenez has been in the news this week. He was one of the players traded over to the Indians from the Mets. And he's probably going to be the Indians' everyday shortstop now. So a nice one. He's a really slick fielder. That is average. But uh, that is a great card right there. Got a Jackson Clough autograph card. Beckway again. Petey Halpin, speaking of the Indians. Nice one right there. And we have a Fran Aldi, Aldui, or something like that, Dominican prospect. Looks like he might be doubling as a coach in that picture, hitting fungos to the players. Max Meyer, again, is it going to be an auto this time? No, still looking for his autograph today. Number three pick in the draft. It's still a nice relic. There's a Jan Adon from the Nationals. Two more autographs. We've got a Nick Garcia from the Buccos. And final autograph of your box, Patrick Bailey, who just kind of uh, looks like he just initialed the card like they back, did back in like 1960. Like guys used to put their initials on the on the card for whatever reason. I don't know why kids did that. I guess to keep their, their brother from stealing them, but that's what that looks like. Will, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Next up, we have Ed in spot number 10, about the halfway point. This, this break will go by probably within about an hour. It's not going to be a long one tonight. Like I said before, after we conclude here on eBay, we're going to head over to Patreon and do a live stream over there of the Saturday Showdown. So we got back-to-back -back live streams tonight. That'll be about 10 minutes after this one then ends. We'll start up over there. Just need some time to go through my PayPal and check and see if anybody else wanted in there and get their names put on those cards. All right, Ed, let's see what we can find for you right now. Best of luck. Four Torkelson hits in this case so far. Two relics and two autographs. Let's see if we can keep it up with him. About due for him again. Andrew, thank you very much for the kind words. I really appreciate that. And here we go. Ed with James in the on-deck circle. So our first autograph is from the college ticket going to be a Caden Polkovich. j &W, how's it going, man? A Lenny Carela out of 25. Nice piece of his jersey there. Ian Seymour. Got a J.J. Blade. That's a nice one. Former Marlins first rounder in 2019. A piece of his game-used jersey. Uh, Carolyn, we did not do a face-off Friday yesterday because we had two videos already with the Bowman Draft Sapphire and the preview for this, so I just decided to skip it for the week. There's a Jamari Baylor. Spencer Strider. We might bring it back next week, though. Oh, take that back. There's Panini Points. A Trey Cruz. I hate Panini Points. They're so gosh darn terrible. What's with the Panini Points? Oh, I wish they would just get rid of those all, all together. There's an Austin Hendrick, a piece of his jersey. Gus Steiger, Vidal Bruyon, Roberto Campos. Got Xavier Warren and Austin Hendricks going to be your best autograph right there. Austin Hendrick, number one overall pick by the Cincinnati Reds. Or not number one overall, but their first pick in the 2020 draft. I think he was 12th overall. So, Ed, thank you very much. I have some of those Panini points, and I feel like you can't really get anything with them unless, unless you save them up like... I don't even know if you can get anything decent, half decent with 150. I thought they got rid of those because everybody was just so, like, mad about them. I mean, I can see if it doesn't count as an autograph and they just kind of throw them in there as, like, a, an extra thank you. But when it starts replacing one of your autos, kind of stinks. Big Sun, Big Sun Ripped It says 150 gets you basically not, nothing auto. You still have to pay 10 bucks shipping. It's not even worth it. Yeah, that's, that sounds about right. Yeah, I think I got one of those, and I, I looked, and I was like, wow, this is terrible. I don't even know any of these, these guys. It's for, like, no-name guys. All right, James, spot number 11. Fabiano, shout out to you. Thank you very much. James, Bob, so far we pulled four Torkelsons. Torkelson hits. Two of them were relics, and two of them were autographs. We've pulled two Kerstad. Relics, none of his autos yet. Two Meyer 
relics, none of his autos. Those are the top three in terms of uh, the draft. So let's see what we can find here. There's a Daniel Cabrera. We have an Andrew Vaughn, speaking of top picks. He was number three in the draft last year. White Sox picked, it, picked him third overall. That's 15 out of 25. Nice slugger right there. Future slugger, Andrew Vaughn. We have a Freddy Zamora. We've seen this card already. We'll take a look at it again. He's now with the Brewers organization. Jose De Jesus from the Prospect League. And Andrew Vaughn again. It's the Andrew Vaughn box. This is going to be his game used jersey. So if you like the White Sox, James, or at least, I mean, you got a nice prospect there, number three overall. There's Daniel Alvarez autograph. Daddy Daughter says, in case you guys don't know, my buddy J Bob is now monetized. And has ads on his videos. Congrats, J Bob. That's yeah, that's awesome. Nick Swinney, congratulations on that. Tyler Soderstrom, nice one right there for the Oakland A's. That's always a nice, uh, nice milestone when you are able to start getting paid for your work. And how about this one? Reggie Jackson, Hall of Famer Reggie Jackson. Oh, that is a nice one. He was drafted by Kansas City. In 1967, and I forget how he ended up with the Oakland A's. Of course, when he debuted as a rookie, he was with the the Oakland Athletics. His rookie card is 1969 tops. He was the second overall pick in 67. How about that for a Hall of Fame appearance? Reggie Jackson, game use jersey. James, that's uh, I mean, you had some nice Andrew Vaughns in the box, but I think for me, that's my favorite one of your box, a Justin Levy autograph as well pretty cool kc moved to oakland says snarky guy that makes sense kansas city athletics and that's how that happened all right spot number 11 is in the books next up we have spot number 12 going to michael coleman how do you get monetized as nightlight well if you have a youtube channel you have to hit two Threshold. You have to have at least 1,000 subscribers, which that's probably the easier of the two, actually, for most folks to get from what I've heard, folks trying to get started up. Uh, you got to hit 1,000 subscribers. The second part is you have to get 4,000 hours of watch time. So you have to have people watching your videos, and you have to get 4,000 hours. And then after you get there, you can apply for a partnership with YouTube, and they'll take a look at your stats make sure that they – you know, check out and everything, and they will monetize you and allow you to put ads in. There's Butch with a 99 cent super chat. Thank you, Butch. I really appreciate that. Hope you're having a great Saturday. But yeah, if you ever are thinking about making money by making a YouTube channel, that's the uh, two things you have to do first. I mean, first, you're going to have to make videos to get there because if you just have a blank channel, you're, I mean, no one's going to subscribe or watch your stuff because they won't know you. So you got to get a following first, and then basically I think that's to make sure. There was a, an issue before with, like, uh, you know, like groups using YouTube to post some of their hateful rhetoric or um, just terrible videos. And there were, like, ads for Coca-Cola and Pepsi rolling right before videos of um, just awful things going on. And YouTube's like, how can we uh, stop that from ever happening again? So they came up with this. No ads will roll until – like that, that way someone can't just make a channel and then be posting videos with ads. That's the way it used to be. When I made my channel in February of 2016, Matt Manning autograph right there, um, literally like my first video, I was able to put ads in. Yeah, unfortunately, you guys heard the news by now, I'm sure. The news broke yesterday morning that Tommy Lasorda has passed away at the age of 93. Very, very sad news. He had... Uh, Spent about five weeks in the hospital, got out about a week ago, and then um, unfortunately passed away from cardiac arrest. Drew Romo, so rest in peace, Tom Lasorda. Hall of Famer Tom Lasorda, class of 1997. There's a Thomas Gerard autograph, Nick Garcia, Pete Crow Armstrong. Freddie Zamora for like the third time. We've pulled a lot of his autographs today. Justin Lang autograph. And you got two more left, Michael. Let's see who they're going to be. How about a Roger Clemens? They're putting some nice old-timers in here. Seven-time Cy Young Award winner, Roger Clemens. He was a first-rounder with the Red Sox back in 1983, 19th pick. I like that kind of stuff. Some of you guys obviously probably hate Roger Clemens. I was just checking the Hall of Fame tracker. Roger Clemens, 
uh, getting right now about 73% of the vote on public ballots. That's really close to the 75% he needs. You have to get 75% to get in. Now, there's a thing with Clemens and Bonds. It's the Bonds and Clemens effect. Uh, they will poll close to 75% on all the public ballots, but then once the private ballots roll in as well, a lot of those guys don't put them on there. They end up dropping like 10% every year. So Clemens is not going to get in this year. Neither is Bonds. And I was surprised. I was looking at the tracker. Kurt Schilling not picking up much support at all. He's about 73%. And uh, I don't think Schilling's getting in this year. I, I'm going to go ahead right now and go on a limb and say nobody gets elected this year by the writers. Uh, maybe the Veterans Association, um, the, the um, one of those committees will put somebody in. But I don't think anyone's getting in this year. Scott Rowland picking up a lot of support. He's probably going to get in in the next year or two. Not this year, though. But, yeah, I, I think it's going to be a, a shutout this year. Which I guess that's okay because the, the induction this year, we'll still have Jeter, we'll still have Walker, we'll still have Simmons from last year. They didn't do a Hall of Fame induction last year because of the virus. They didn't want to bring all the old timers out and risk them. J. Bob and Son says, thanks for the shout out, Daddy Daughter Card Breaks. I appreciate everyone's support. So many great channels in here right now. I have made $3.20 so far on YouTube. That's not bad, man. That's That's a start. Just think of it this way. That's $3.20 more than you had before you are doing. And uh, it'll just, uh, the more views you get and the more subscribers you get, it'll just kind of snowball from there. So, J-Bob, thank you very much. Just stick with it. Next up is Will on spot number 13. JR Sports Card says, congrats on the success. Road to 1K myself. I hope you get there, man. You'll get there. Timmy T time in the house. How's it going? Carolyn says, what video are you doing tomorrow? I'm not sure yet. I mean, now you're making me think. I'll probably do um, maybe uh, maybe I'll do the video where I went up to Ohio yesterday. Or actually, you know what? I think I, I am due to do my Walmart $100 video, so I think I'm going to do that one. 357 says, when's the 93 SP break? I have a Jeter in a PSA 8. 357, thank you very much. How about, I, I don't I don't know when I'm going to do it, but I, I wanted to do it on the induction week. So like when Jeter goes in, I wanted to do it then. So I'm thinking probably this summer in July. But yeah, that Jeter rookie card from, from 93 SP, that's the uh, that's a huge, huge card. A PSA 8, that's very, very valuable. And there's a Clayton Beater for Will. Corbin Carroll out of 75. Nice Future Thread Signatures card. Daniel Cabrera, Justin Lang, Roberto Campos. We've got an Alec Burleson out of 38. Jimmy Tron Troncoso with just a JT there. Short and sweet. Andrew Vaughn. Relic, I think it's a relic. Yep, that's the second time pulling that relic out over the last couple. Willie McIver, Levi Thomas, Bobby Miller, Drew Romo. We've got a Cole Henry, Nick Bitsko, Spencer Strider, Jimmy Troncoso, Austin Wells. There he is, Wander Franco. Wander Franco, game used jersey. You'll be seeing him at some point in the major leagues next year, the number one prospect overall. And Vaughn Grissom is the last one right there. Yellen Luis, last card. So, Will, thank you very much. Spot number 14 is for Steve. Let's see what we can find for Steve in here. Best of luck. Hope we can get you something good. Grab the next box out of the case. James says, I like my autos to look like an EKG, personally. I, I'll tell you what, I when I was in elementary school, I found some uh, I found some old notebooks under my bed in my childhood home, where my parents live, obviously. And uh, there's probably like 30, 40 pages of just me practicing my autograph <laughs> over and over again. So kind of interesting to see how it's evolved from the age of like nine to today kind of similar there's definitely some similarities i feel like now my autograph quote unquote autograph is more smooth like it's smoothed out like letters are just gone and they're just smooth into a line daddy daughter says i've got that one half of chab's fam auto i remember that 
Amessa thinks this. James, you would love Lariano. Yeah, Ramon Lariano is a good one for sure. Always looking for Lariano rookies from 2019. Series one. Austin says my signature is chicken scratch, like my handwriting. You've dealt with, with that before. Uh, we've gotten through your letters, Austin. I can still make them out for sure. Uh, all right, so we have an Angel Trinidad. Austin Martin, Cody Thomas is going to be the first autograph. This is probably pronounced Helson Coca, probably with the H sound, not Jelson, but Helson. That's how I'm, I'm guessing. Interesting name there. There's Heston again. We've pulled three cursed ads, and they've all been relics. We're due for one of his. Wow. By the way, check out the face on Ian Seymour. I don't, I, that is some intenseness right there. It looks like, I don't know, did he just punch himself in the face? Um, that is that is one of the most crazy pictures I've seen on a baseball card in a while. Clay Aguilar right there. Nice one right there. Autograph time coming up for this pack. We've got a Zion Bannister and Willie Banas from the Dominican League. And here's a nice one. Prospect Materials, number two overall pick in the 2019 draft from last year, Bobby Witt Jr. That's a good one. This is probably pronounced Johansi Torres. Haven't heard of him yet. Last two for Steve. We've got a one thin. And look who's coming up again. It's the big boy, Spencer Torkelson, our third autograph out of the case. So I feel like with Bowman Draft, it was really tough for for us, at least, to hit any Torkelsons. I hit one, no, two Torkelsons, one in a break, and then I believe one in our, well, I know, in our Jabs Family box. We've only pulled two Torkelsons out of maybe like six cases of Bowman Draft that we've opened up. And uh, now we've had, this is our third Torkelson autograph, I think, today from just this case. We also had two other hits of his, and they were relics. So five Torkelson hits so far. This is a Torkelson case, which is good news for the rest of the folks in here. If you're wondering how much that Torkelson is worth, the Panini Torques are worth less than the Bowman. Um, usually Panini stuff, the autos are usually worth about half. That Torkelson auto is around $125. Here's spot number 15. It's for Jeffrey. Best of luck to you. Let's see what we can find for you. We have Bowman, Bowman Tops, all that stuff. Just um, They call themselves the real one for a reason, I guess. Some people don't consider Panini to be the true baseball card makers, although they do a nice job. They do the best they can with... Uh, what the, uh, I guess, the lot they're given there without being able to put the logos on there. Jeffrey's up right now in spot number 15. Supplies are pretty good right now, Eagle Man. I'm pretty uh, pretty stocked on everything, I think. I don't think I'm getting low on anything. Michael, this was, uh, you can get a, this is just a mouse pad. That's all it is. You can go to lots of different websites out there. You can go and get an oversized mouse pad and just, Put a little JPEG of a logo that you want, and that's how you get that. This was actually sent to me by a subscriber a couple years ago. About due for a new one, though, because um, I've used this one for two years. It's got, like, some pen marks on it, some cut marks here and there. All right, so, Jeffrey, let's see what we can find for you now in yours. We've got a Chris Bubik and Markavian Hans are your two autos from pack number one. Alaric Solare and Dominican prospect Gabriel Terrero are your next two. Zach Daniels. This is our lowest numbered card so far. Markavian Hentz out of six. Nice one right there. Dalton Varsho. Heather <laughs> says, is that a hint? Um, no, I, I, I'm this, I, this is the first time I, I knew you were watching, Heather. Maybe that's something that we could work on for sure. Next two, we've got a Jordan Westberg and Jackson Miller out of 10. Nice low number there. Camilo Diaz. Oh, look at this. It's A-Rod. Alex Rodriguez. Love the, the uh, big-time 
stars. We had Reggie Jackson, Roger Clemens, and now A-Rod. He was the number one overall pick in 1993. And uh, I saw a stat today through age like 26 or something like that. For shortstops, they had Frankie Linder on the list with 29. War wins above replacement. A-Rod had like 55. No one was even close to him. I think second best was Kyle Ripken with like 37. Man, he was just uh, – he was – just in another world, he did not need to do steroids. That's the thing. Guys like A-Rod, he didn't have to do what he did. Like, he didn't have to take the steroids. In fact, if he didn't take them, he might have ended up with more home runs than if he had taken them because, of course, he missed an entire year. He was susp suspended for a full year near the end of his career for taking steroids. And uh, that probably cost him at least 20 dingers right there. Hey, Todd's in the house. Todd says, hey, Jabs, I'm two subscribers short of 75. Nice break. Let's help them out, guys. If you would like to help Todd get over that 75, Mark, just need two of you to check him out. We'll see if we can find his link and put it in the chat for you guys to check him. Thank you, Todd. Really appreciate that. Raise up right now. Spot number 16. Daddy Daughter's got it. Head on over there. Let's see if you can be number 75 for Todd. And uh, see if we can get him to 100 maybe within the next week or so. Austin says, I read something about how Aroid took steroids as far back as his junior and senior year in high school. That's crazy. I guess uh, maybe he did need them then to be what he was, or at least as good as he was. Boss Man is in the house. Says, love the channel, Jabs. Love your knowledge of the sport. Looking to grow my channel and card community. Been posting videos for around a year now. So Boss Man C. Crowder 1 is the channel. If we can find your channel, we'll, uh, one of our moderators, please drop that in there so we can check out Boss Man, everybody. And Todd is just blown by the 75 to 82 subs. Thanks, everybody, for helping him out. And I hope you guys will help out Boss Man, too. He's been posting for about a year. And check out this. Do we finally have a Cursed Dad autograph? No. <laughs> Four hits of the number two overall pick, and they've all been relics. <laughs> I thought we might have had it that time. Edward Busardo, Hunter Barnhart, and Zach Veen. Nice prospect right there. That's our second time pulling a Zach Veen auto out of this case. For the Colorado Rockies, Ed Howard. Got to shout him out. A lot of Cubby fans looking forward to him. Look like the Cubs might be starting to rebuild at some point. Kyle Schwarber, I heard today, is getting pretty close to a contract with the Atlanta Braves. That's going to be weird to see Schwarber in an Atlanta Braves uniform. Staying in the NL, also pretty interesting. We'll see if... Um, I still don't know if they know what they're doing yet in terms of uh, the DH. Are we having a DH in the National League next year or not? Like, they're like, well, maybe we will. Maybe we won't. You got to you gotta let everybody know. I mean, it's kind of – I feel like that is partially holding up free agency because teams are like, are we having a DH? Like, should we be looking for big, slow guys that can hit the ball out of the park? Todd says, thank you all. Jabs, thank you. Todd, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Congrats on hitting 75, and guess what? Next up, 100. You'll be there soon, man. Christian Robinson. And our last two autographs from this, not a Torkelson, but Jack Hartman and a Dominican prospect player, Keterson Pavon, are our last two. Oh, was it the Nationals? I guess it was the Nationals. You are right. I don't know why I was thinking of the Braves. Ray, thank you very much. I guess I didn't read the story. I just saw the headline real quick. Busy, busy day with the kiddos today. Brian's up right now. We only have four boxes left, including this one, and then we will be heading over to Patreon for a private live stream. Someone said my camera's out of focus. It looks crystal clear to me. Maybe you might want to check your um, check your resolution. A lot of times YouTube will automatically set you to like 144p or something ridiculous like that. And you'll be like, wow, what's up with that? So change it to maybe like, what, 720, 480, something like that. I bet you that's your issue. All right, Brian, let's see what we can find for you. Nope, Razor, I do not have an Instagram. I just have a YouTube and a Facebook. That's that I have been using more and more to look for good deals. Haven't found any yet. Thought I had a deal earlier today, but he said somebody else came and looked at the cards and bought them all. It was a, a collection that had a bunch of 70s cards in it for like $300. There's quite a lot of good cards in there. And uh, 
He's like, well, I got someone coming to look at it. I'll let you know. He's like, I sold half the card. Are you still interested in the other half? And I was like, well, what do you got? And he's like, oh, cards in the 80s and 90s. I said, I'll give you 15 bucks for them. And he's like, I'd rather just donate them than sell them for that. But I'm not, there's like a bunch of like 89 tops big. I could see in the picture what was there. The 70s were gone. 357 with the Super Chat says Bonds home runs, 762. Our pool, 662. Pujols needing 100 more to catch Bonds. That's not going to happen, I don't think. Um, I would literally be shocked if Pujols plays more than two more years in the big leagues. Clayton Beater, Luis Garcia. I think that's all he's got left. That's a nice one out of five. Very nice piece of the uh, jersey right there. Luis Garcia out of five for Brian. Take that one. Alec Burleson and Yerlin Luis are the next two autos. Zach Britton. Spencer Strider. We've got an out of 24. Bryce Bonin. Austin says this is probably Pujols' final season. Yeah, that it might. it's probably going to be it for him. I don't know if anyone else is going to. I mean, if he goes out and hits like 30 home runs this year, and gets to like 692, I bet you somebody might bring him back on like a minor league deal to see if he can still do it and see if he can get eight home runs. So probably like a last place team that just wants to put people in seats so he can hit a 700th home run and they can sell a bunch of tickets and merchandise. You might see something like that, but that's only if he gets like 30 dingers this year, which could happen, but probably he's not going to. He might get you about 20. There's a Thomas Herrard, Juan Sanchez. Got a Cole Henry. It would be nice for the Cardinals to bring him back for one more go around. I bet you the Cardinals, either way, they're probably going to sign him. Well, actually, probably not because I do believe. Well, doesn't he have a uh, like a ten year personal services contract for like ten million dollars a year, some, some crazy amount, with the Angels after he retires? So I'm, I'm not sure. Is, is he going to be allowed to sign with the Cardinals? I was thinking he's going to sign with the Cardinals for one day and just retire with them. Josh Rojas and Wander Franca are the last two right there for Brian. So, Brian, thank you very much. Got three boxes left, and then we're heading over to Patreon for a private live stream of the Saturday Showdown. Just as a, an extra perk for the members on Patreon, it's going to be Tobias up right now, spot number 18. Thank you very much for hanging out with us tonight, everybody, as we are almost at the one-hour mark. Shattered? No, I didn't. I, you must not have seen our video last Monday. Um, didn't get a refund, and uh, I took the $5,000 hit on that. I just opened them up, and the cards were just complete trash. Tobias says, here we go, hoping for a cursed stat auto. All right, Tobias, thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate that. Let's see if that brings the cursed stat auto. We've not yet found that one. TRM says, what big cards did I miss? We missed, or you missed, I should say. Three Torkelson autographs and two Torkelson relics. We've pulled four Kerstad relics. Zero of his autos so far. And uh, what, like three Meyer relics? Maybe like one or two Ace of Lacey relics. Pulled some nice old-timer relics as well. Reggie Jackson, Roger Clemens, Alex Rodriguez, Paul Canerco. All right, Tobias, let's see if we can find you that curse dad. There's Isaiah Green, who's in the news. He went from the New York Mets to the Cleveland Indians in the trade. There's an Eric Pena. That's a decent one right there. Eric Pena out of 149. Take that one. All right, so let's see if we can get him what he wants. He wants a Torkelson. Or no, of course he wants a Torkelson. He asked for, though, a curse dad auto. There's our next two. Not much uh, name recognition of those two guys. There's a Tyler Soderstrom for the A's. It's going to be his relic. Got a Ripken Reyes. That's a cool name. I bet you that he's named after Cal Ripken Jr. How cool is that? His name is literally Ripken. Ripken Reyes. His dad was probably a huge Cal Ripken Jr. fan. And uh, we're getting on to about four autos left for you here, Tobias. We've got a Slade Ciccone and Alaric Solare. And two more autos coming up in your last pack. They're going to be a... Joe Adele, it's actually going to be a, a relic. Nice one right there, Joe Adele. You'll be seeing his rookie card in 2021 tops. Everyone's going to want that one. And Carter Baumler, out of nine, is the last one. Back-to-back -back Carter Baumlers. They use the same exact image for both of those, it looks like. So, Tobias, sorry about the no curse, Dad, but thank you very much. And now we're down to two boxes left. All right, next up, it's going to be Jeffrey, spot number 19.
Might as well grab spot number 20 while I'm at it as well. Get that box up here. So, Larry. All right, Austin. Thank you very much. So, Larry. I like it when you guys help me out with these, uh, I don't want to call them no names, but guys that I haven't seen play yet and have never actually heard their name pronounced. All right, Jeffrey, let's see what we can find for you. Two more boxes left in this live stream. Nothing else left in there. Zach Dixon says, thanks for the ball hawking and season ticket device. You're welcome, man. If I'm not mistaken, I you asked me for a couple free baseballs. I have those on my shelf for you. I'll get those out in your next Patreon package. But I literally put them on the Z shelf with, uh, I think you have, might have had a stack of cards. I'll be looking to send that stuff out around the middle of this month. Thanks, man. Really appreciate that. All right, Jeffrey, spot number 19. Let's see what we can find for you. We've got a Jackson Miller and a Marco Ryan to lead things off. Zach McCambley is the first autograph. Adonis Medina, relic auto out of 299. Garrett Mitchell, Shane Drohan. There's Andres Jimenez again for the New York Mets. This is his game use jersey. Pretty cool. Of course, he's now going to be starting for the Indians as he was a part of that trade that went down a couple days ago. Next autograph is a Jordan Nwagu. I don't I probably said that right. Trevor's welcome back, man. We have uh we have three Torkelson autos that we've pulled. I don't know if you saw all three or not, but we're only on uh, we're on box number 19. We got one more box left after this, then we're gonna take a 10-minute break and head on over to Patreon and finish up the Saturday showdown of Bowman Draft. There's Royce Lewis, a Jackson Kloof Clough from the Nats. Last two autographs for you are going to be a Caden Polkovich and a Bryce Jarvis. Jarvis is the last two out of 42 on the Polkovich. Jimmy Troncoso finishes it off. So, Bob, here we go. Final box. We had five Torkelsons out of this box. That's pretty good. We'll take that. I was just uh, hoping for maybe like one one or two of his autos. We hit three. Austin says, you can always email me if you need info ahead of time. Austin, thank you very much, man. Yeah, some of those like lesser known guys, like So Larry, like I don't know much about him. Austin's got the whole prospect list pretty much memorized. Who's good, who's not. How to pronounce all their names. Future general manager someday, hopefully. Yeah, Tammy, you're on the T-shelf. Uh, that All your stuff will be coming probably next week when I start sending all of your Patreon stuff. And Bob, this is it. Last box. Then we're going over to Patreon for the Saturday Showdown with 2020 Bowman Draft Super Packs with 120 cards per pack. One autograph per pack. Hopefully we can find some Torkelsons. Lowest number cards gets everything. Lowest number card gets it all. So here we go, Bob. Last box of the night. Got Malika Williams there. Spencer Strider. Thanks, 80s Boomer card. Appreciate it, man. Got a Fabian Lopez there. Robert says, thanks for getting me in tonight, E. Great job and pull me some fire. All right, here we go, man. Let's see what we can do. We got an Alec Burleson as your first card. Nick Niedert is going to be a future thread signature relic auto out of 149. Mitchell Parker and Stevie Emanuels. There's a Baron Radcliffe. Cole Henry. It's going to be your next autograph with now these Dominican guys. I don't really know any of them, so I can't tell you if he's good or not. Framey De Leon. Alika Williams. Jared Schuster. We got a Stevie Emanuels. Cole Wilcox relic out of 93. How many Patreon viewers do you get on average? Think about signing up. Uh, Nightlight, usually in our um, our, our last, last live stream, we had maybe like 40 people watching, 30 to 40 people. So it'll be a nice, uh, nice intimate, small house setting, I guess you could say. There's a Kale M. Schaff autograph. We have a Casey Schmidt. And Bobby Miller are the next two. Casey Schmidt, Bobby Miller, out of 220 on the Miller. So our last two autographs, we have ourselves. Oh, look who it is. Jason Dominguez. I think it's a relic, though. It is going to be a relic out of 199 That's still a nice one right there. Jason Dominguez, that's probably still worth about, I guess, 20 bucks or so, maybe more. 
Everybody loves Dominguez. And the final card is going to be a Keithron Moss Hidden Gems Auto. And that'll do it for this live stream. We have a double back-to-back -back live stream tonight planned. That's it for Elite Extradition. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Now we're going to go do a Bowman Draft Super Saturday Showdown style. Uh, Ike says it's up close and personal with Eric, but still socially distanced. That's what it'll be. We'll probably have like maybe 30 people in there. You can only watch it if you're on Patreon. If you'd like to sign up, you can sign up right now, and I will put the link on there um, for that live stream for all of you on Patreon. We'll get started in about 10 minutes. So give me about 10 minutes. I'll write out all the names on the cards for the Saturday Showdown, get the new people that buy it in in the Saturday Showdown, and then we'll start over there in about 10 minutes' time. You can sign up right now and still see it live tonight. If you'd like to, it's $3 per month. You can cancel it at any time. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hope you guys have a great rest of your Saturday. Tomorrow we'll have the Walmart $100 baseball card um, budget buy video for you. We did do one of those last week, but it was all football cards, and we have all football or we have all baseball ones we found this week, luckily. So thank you very much, and uh, for those of you on Patreon, I'll see you in ten minutes, and for everybody else, I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.